Hey, did y'all know that I apparently promote and support Misty Zahe? Yeah, me neither. I swear you can't make this shit up. Those who've been rocking with me for a long time know that that's the exact opposite of what I believe in. I've always spoken out against mestizaje and latinidad and hispanidad. And I have plenty of content to prove it. Now, the fact that you think I push and support mestizaje tells me one of two things. A, you don't actually know what mestizaje is. Or B, you're just making shit up about me. I'm inclined to go with B, but for educational purposes, let's say it's A. So around the early to mid 1800s, a lot of Latin American countries started gaining independence from Spain and Portuguese and France. And due to this newfound independence, a hierarchy had to be established because that's all anyone knew. And contrary to popular belief, not all Spaniards and French and Portuguese left the Americas after independence. Many stayed behind. And those that stayed behind had to find a new way to gain power as the minority again. So now enters in the late 1800s, the push for mestizaje and blacamiento. This also happens to be the time that social Darwinism explodes all over the place. And for those who don't know what social Darwinism is, it was basically what pushed race science to what it became. It gave justification for the concept of race being biological. It distorted what Darwin stated when it came to natural selection amongst animals and plants and then applied it to humans, which has been debunked. And in order to survive as a group of people, you have to have survival of the fittest. And how do you make your group of people seem like it's the fittest, more superior? You manipulate people into believing it. And you use pseudoscience, not real science, because they never had no evidence for any of this, and psychology to do all the work for you. So it's important to note that this is also the time when eugenics was coined and implemented. This was when they were about racial purity, the whitening of the race, and mixing to breed out indigenous and African bloodlines. So how do you convince a people to mix with you, a people that you've oppressed? You go grab the lightest skinned of the mixed people and you indoctrinate them. You convince them that being mixed gives you the power of both worlds. And you also convince them that now that you are half of them, you can't fight your own family. You're one of us now. And we are one of you. And then you can have this master race of La Raza Cosmica. Now you get these light-skinned mestizos that you've indoctrinated this into their brains and they go around telling all the other mixed people the same thing. And they also tell other non-mixed indigenous people the same thing. Because it sounds more convincing coming from one of your own than it does from them. Then doing what they always do by promising you equality because we are of the same blood now, but then stab you in the back and now implement colorism because now we can convince those that are lighter skin to continue mixing with us so we can continue to breed out the bloodline we convince them that marrying white is right and how do we do that we treat those that are darker worse than them but in order for all of this to work you had to be able to share culture so the deal basically becomes we will re-indigenize as long as we're able to continue to Christianize. And then they spread the message of mestizaje through religion and blacamiento through religion. All the while, actually not re-indigenizing because they're trying to breed us out. And because of that, it's easier to commit cultural genocide and kill off languages. 
So now you are literally unaliving the Indian genetically, psychologically, and culturally all at the same time, all so they can save the white man. Yeah, I don't promote none of that shit. I actually believe in giving up the colonizer way of life. Dismantling and decolonizing from European ideologies and religions and whatever their culture is supposed to be. I promote re-indigenizing and unity amongst all indigenous people. And I also promote helping people find their way home, not discouraging it. So the next time you want to lie on me, at least make it believable.